Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do a video on line of sight, and specifically line of sight for these games here, the last hundred yards. Now I have two of those games, I have Airborne Over Europe and Solomon Island here, and the third one I'm hoping to get as soon as P500 releases it. Uh, I can buy it now on eBay, but uh, it's quite the hefty price, so I'm, I think I'd rather wait for that one. But uh, I want to talk a little bit about line of sight because while line of sight is important in almost all war gaming because it allows us to see the opponent and fire at them, line of sight is extremely important in these particular last hundred yards because in these games we have what's called initiative. And the initiative means that one player has the ability to move their pieces without having to worry about what the other player is doing or what they can see of the other player. Where the person who does not have the initiative, they can only react to what the other person does. So when the other person moves a piece and they can see that piece moving, they can react to that piece. Their pieces can, they all saw that, can react to that piece. So line of sight becomes extremely important. Now line of sight, if it's just on a one level area where you know you have certain things blocking, it would be relatively easy. But in this game, we have a number of different levels. We have uh, level one, we have level two, we have level th uh, three and four, uh, depending on how the mission states the levels are. So we also have breakdowns in between those levels. So being able to understand what you can see and how you can see it on a flat map that's representing a 3D elevated terrain is important in this game and allows you to um, get the edge or at least stay even with your opponent who knows how to use line of sight. So let's check out line of sight in the last hundred yards. And for these examples, we're going to be using airborne over Europe. Now in this video, I'm just going to cover flat level line of sight when a unit is on the ground and they're shooting at something, what blocks that unit from seeing those things. In the next video, we're going to elevate that. We're going to take it to the hills. We're going to have a unit on top of the hills how what they can see, how they can see around them, uh, what blocks their view, uh, how different heights of hills will do different things for the line of sight. So we'll check all that out in the next video. I hope this works out well for you and uh, helps you understand line of sight a little better. I know that's going to help me just by going through the whole process and uh, understanding line of sight a little bit better. So let's get into it. Okay, so for our first example, we're going to use uh, this particular map here, map number 17, because everything here is at the same level on this map. Uh, things are represented that block line of sight, but uh, technically everything is at the same level. There's nothing above level one, let's say, and then this is this is all level zero, same level. Let's talk about how line of sight is determined on most games. Now, most games will have these little dots right here in the center of these hex, hexes. And when you run a line of sight, you would run a line to whatever dot you want to go. So in other words, if I was going from this building to this dot here, I would run my line of sight from that dot to that dot to see if that is within a line of sight or if I can shoot at that. In between these hexes, there are some blocking terrain. And uh, the map here is divided up into two different types of blocking terrain. They all block hexes after them. So the first hex, you can generally see into. The hex after that, you cannot. So for this example, we have some contour lines here showing a little bit of a contour of a slight rise in the ground here. And same way here. Uh, these contour lines will block line of sight if you go past them, if you go into another through another contour line or into another hex that is part of that same contour. Another one that is a um, terrain hex is woods. And woods are actually at a level one. So they are pretty much, you know, pretty high off the ground here and they block any line of sight. Now you can see into the woods, but you can't see beyond them. Now, over here, we get into terrain features. These are uh, houses and buildings and structures. And these are wooden buildings down here, and these are stone buildings here. Now, stone buildings are at a level one, and these are at a level zero or same level. So while there's still features that block line of sight, you can't see beyond them unless you have a clear path through them. Uh, they do 
block line of sight if you touch them. So for example, on this hex right here, if we had our line of sight go through the hex, like let's say this, it doesn't touch any of the features. So you could technically look through that hex. But if we come across like this and we go through any of the features on that hex, then this building will block line of sight, this building, this building, this building. Any of these buildings will block line of sight. So we can see straight up this road for a little ways, and there are requirements for that, which we'll touch on here in a minute. But you can see line of sight going along this road here because we have an opening going on through. So I think the first part is we will close in on this part of the map over here, and uh, we'll take and we'll put a German machine gun unit in this little building here so that he has some protection. And so let's go ahead and take a look at this area. We'll close in on that area. Okay, so we have a machine gun unit that has a range of 12. So he can pretty much go any place on this map just about. But he cannot fire any place on this map because everything is the same level and they're blocking terrains here. Now we have these contour lines right here which block his line of sight. We have these contour lines here that block his line of sight. And we have this forest here that blocks his line of sight. And we have some buildings that will block his line of sight. Now again, like I say, we can see into these blocking hexes here. So for example, if we had an American squad here, uh, he can see them and have line of sight to them. He has line of sight here, line of sight here, and line of sight here. All of these hexes, the machine gunner has line of sight too. Now, if that American squad was on this hex, or this one, or this one, any of these hexes back here, the machine gun unit would not have line of sight because this is a blocking hex because it's a contour hex. Excuse that. This is a blocking hex, this is a contour hex, and when we go to the next one, you can't see past that. Likewise, we can't see anything mountains here. Anything beyond this, we cannot see. We do not have line of sight to. Now, the same thing happens here if we have our American squad up here, coming over here. This machine gun unit can see that American squad there and can see him there. So these two hills have line of sight from the machine gun sitting here in this building. Now likewise, because there is nothing blocking with all of these hexes here, has line of sight to all of these hexes here. Easily can see them and easily fire at somebody that's in those hexes. Now if our American squad was here or here, they are behind this blocking terrain right here. So anything back here would be blocked by this blocking terrain here. Now the reason for the contour line is that this blocking terrain still extends into this next hex right here. Although if something is in this hex, they can see that. But if we string a line from our machine gun, I'm gonna move him here for a second. And we string a line from the center of that hex to the center of the hex at G2 where that road is at, you can see that this line crosses through two of these blocking contour lines there. So that means that that particular hex we could not fire at. Now we can fire into the woods, the first wood hex there, but if that line would still cross that uh, blocking terrain of the contour line, which it does, then we cannot fire into that first wood hex over there. So this one would be blocked. This wood hex would be blocked because it's behind the blocking hex of this wood hex. Also, the blocking of the terrain feature lines there. So all of these hexes would be blocked from our field of view. So let's get our machine gun unit back in here. Now, a direct line of sight to here, we have, we don't hit any of the contour lines. To this one, we don't hit any of the contour lines. To this one, I'm not quite sure if we don't, but let's mark these first two. We know that that one is good, that this one is good, 
and we know that this one is also good. Let me double check real quick to make sure that I'm not lying to you. And I am not. So we can fire into this wooden hex here, this hex and this hex. Now this hex here, let me remove the machine gun unit again. Run my line from that hex to the center of the hex there. And it just barely misses the contour line here in F3. It just barely misses that. So we can fire at that hex there. Likewise, the machine gun unit has line of sight to any units that are in this hex, any squads that are in this hex or this hex. And do we have it to that one? Well, again, we will double check with our line of sight. And we are close to that contour line, but we do miss it. So we actually cannot, we can see into that hex because we're not crossing that contour line, but we cannot fire into the hex because we have to cross this wooden hex here. So the, again, this is a blocking hex. So that one we cannot fire into. This one we can. This one we can fire into. This hex here, I believe I said we could. And we can. So that hex we can also fire into. Now, of course, it goes off past here, but anything past these these three hexes right here, we cannot fire into because these are blocking terrain, and that's not we're not going to be able to go beyond there. So we have this town here. We can fire into the town if we can see into that hex, as long as it's not blocked by these contour lines. So we run our line to that, and we see that it is blocked by these contour lines here. So that would mean that we could not fire there or there. We don't have a line of sight to any of those. So the only place we have left is back here. How far can the machine gun unit fire along these hexes? Well, if we move him out of the way for a second, and we run our line here, and I'm looking straight down, I can see that we can absolutely fire at a squad that is in that square. However, when that squad moves over to the next hexagon, I said square, I should have said hexagon, sorry about that guys. When he moves over to the next hexagon, it is blocked by that contour line. So again, we are going by this center dot only. Now granted, if you Put your um, line over here. We miss that, but we always go by the center dot. That's our marker for wh whether we have line of sight to something or not. So looking here, we see that the machine gun unit that is here can fire at all of these hexes from this position right here. And let's just put this so that we complete our little line back here. He cannot fire at anything here or beyond. He cannot fire at anything here or beyond. And he cannot fire past what you can't see up here. He can't fire beyond these hexagons right here because they are blocking terrain of anything that's behind it. So that's our first example of a machine gun unit. They're in sort of what contour lines represent has a little depression there. He's basically down there. But again, it's all just represented to show you the features of the terrain. Everything is at the same level and everything blocks the same. Now for our next example, we're going to have this German squad that's going to be on the lookout for an American squad moving through this terrain in front of them. So they need to know what their line of sight is and the Americans want to know where they can't see them. So let's start taking a look at what terrain features and terrain blocking hexes we have here. We have features that are the buildings that they block a uh, line of sight into them if they cross uh, the building. Now that's only after they're in intervening hex. So this hex is no problem. This unit right here can fire into these buildings right here. We have the contour lines like we had before right here. So they are going to block line of sight past them. Now, some of these features that are in intervening in between here, 
may block our line of sight to this right here. We'll soon find out. Then we have some woods here and we have some woods over here. And then we have pretty much open area all along here. So let's take a look and see where they can fire at. Well, first we'll start by right here, going right down this line right here. There's nothing blocking any of this. So as a result, this squad can fire right along this row right here. That's not even an issue. Completely fire here. Now we know that the squad can fire into this hex, but can it fire into this? Well, no, because when we run our line of sight through these hexes here, we get a blocking terrain feature, which are those buildings right there. So because this blocks our site over here, we cannot shoot into that hex. Now the same thing happens into this one here, because if we do our line of sight, we have blocking terrain from this hex right here. So again, we are looking at our line of sight crossing the building here. So when I run my, when I move everything out of the way and I run this, you see that it goes right through this building right there. So we cannot fire into the second set of buildings. We can fire into the first, but not the second. The same thing happens here. This is going to be blocked by a building. This feature here is going to also be blocked by intervening buildings. When we run our line of sight through here, it connects and hits one of these edges of the buildings. It actually, it's here and there. Over this one, I would say probably blocking, but let's double check to make sure. And yes, we are running through these buildings right here. And this one over here, I'm going to again say that it's probably going to be blocking because yes, we are going through this building right here. Now, the same thing is true with all of these. Even though these are on a feature that we could shoot at before over here, we do have blocking intervening hexes between. So let's see, let's see if we do have blocking here. If we look at this one here at C6, we don't have any blocking feature because it doesn't cross any of these buildings here. So if we had an American squad right here, they could take aim and they could fire at that American squad on that hex right there. Now they could not fire at a squad past that because this hex blocks the next hex. This is a blocking terrain. But when we go to, when we set our lines of sight on the next one, it's blocked by a building. The next one runs through a building again. The next one runs through a building in this hex right there. So as a result, all of these are blocked. All of these are also blocked. Now we look at this open road here. It seems like it's an open road. It should be good. But when we run our line to that road, we see that it crosses an intervening building hex right there. However, the second road, the next one up, does not. It runs outside of these buildings. So while this road is blocked, this road is not. We could fire at that road. Also, we could fire at this building and this building. So if a unit tried to hide here, and we're not talking about terrain modifiers yet, you know, how what they get a modifier for when they're attacked, when they're inside a building. We're just talking about line of sight is all we're talking about right now. But if we had a squad here, American squad here or American squad there, the German unit could easily fire at both those hexes. Now, because these are blocking terrain, they're going to prevent fire to any of these other terrains beyond it. So any of these buildings or open roads or open terrain beyond is all going to be blocked. We don't have anything blocking in this terrain right here. So we have all clear space there, clear space here, 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 and here, and clear space here. So this squad could fire all the way up through here. It's maximum range if they so choose. So all of this would be clear to fire. Now in the wood hex, like we said before, we can fire into the first wood hex that we see. So when we fire, we can fire into this one and that one. However, if we've got a squad here and a squad here, 
we cannot fire into those because these wood hexes are blocking terrain. And at ground level, everything blocks. So they prevent us from firing there and beyond. Now, I purposely left this one open because I want to run a line of sight to that one. And so I run my line and I do see that it does cross two hex sides of this blocking terrain. So that one is indeed blocked. Now, when we start looking off to the right here, we see that we have a wood hex next to ours. We can fire into that. We can actually fire into this wood hex here because when I draw my line of sight, you see that it runs down the center of this hex line right here. And because we have open terrain there and a block terrain here, we have line of sight to this one here. So we can fire the unit there. Now, if we had the Americans were coming up this way, trying to get to us here or here. They can do so because that terrain is absolutely blocked. This terrain here and this one here have blocking terrain in front of it. That's the woods in front of it. So they are also blocked. So we're down to this buildings here. Well, we know that we can fire into the first building, but there is a clear line of sight through this road here. So this is called an enclosed road. And small arms fire can fire through an enclosed road up to two hexes. So if we draw our line here, you can see that it goes through the road. It doesn't hit any of the buildings of these terrain features. And it also exits out without hitting either one of these buildings. However, the enclosed road states that you can fire through two hexes of enclosed road. So you cannot fire at anything beyond that. So these are all blocked by the fact that you can only fire into two enclosed road hexes or fire out of two control. So in other words, if we had a third building here and our unit was here, we would still be blocked here because we can only fire through two enclosed roads, even if we're in one of them or if we're in a closed road inside here. So they can fire to there. Now this one here, we need to run a line here and let's see how close this is gonna be. And I'm gonna to have to take an exact measurement on this. Okay, so when I take exactly from line to, to dot to dot, it crosses past two, two of these hex lines right there. So that means that this one is blocked. And let's see, will that one be blocked too? Oh, look at that. That one actually misses that hex right there. So this one is actually fireable at because this is our first building that we're firing into. We can actually have a clear line of sight to it. The only thing we gotta do is behind it, this one, this terrain blocks that shot back there. And let me make sure that it does. Yes, it does, because it does hit it does hit the edge of this building right there. The last one we have left is right there. So if we put our German squad right here, as a German, we sort of want to cover as much ground as possible as we can. As an American, we're looking for all of these red hexes right here, because these mean that we can come into the enemy without them being able to take a shot at us. We have blocking terrain here, that allows us to get close to our enemy before they have clear line of sight or can take a fire, take a shot at us. So hopefully this has sort of given you some answers on line of sight at ground level where everything is at the same level. This is very important in this game, but it's important in all games to learn how line of sight works. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments below. Look for our next video, which will be out on elevated terrain and how you can manage your line of sight with elevated uh, terrain on these maps. Until then, I hope that you like and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be around for my next video. I appreciate you watching this one this far. Take care.